myself, it's your self-proclaimed cinema showgun here. And just a few moments ago, I reported to you all that the Crumblies are on the run. <laughs> Sorry. That sounds like the name of a bad Broadway play, like Crumblies on the run. But yes, the Crumblies are on the run. But I did say that I don't know if they're actually on the run. Maybe there's some confusion going on here. And now the lawyer has stepped up and claims they're not on the run, that they actually went and decided to stay away from their house because they were scared of, you know, that their life may be threatened by people who are angry about what happened. And she's claiming that they're going to turn themselves in. Now, you know, I guess we could take the lawyer's word for it. I'm not sure who this lawyer really is. You know, I don't know. I never trust what lawyers say. So I'm trying not to jump to any conclusions here. But all I'm going to say is if I was law enforcement, I would be kind of worried right now. Because as soon as she said, oh, they're going to turn themselves in, they're not on the run. I got to thinking back to one little key piece of evidence here. And that's when Ethan Crumbly, his teacher caught him in class looking up ammunition that he was going to use in this incident. Well, when the parents, I mean, when the school notified the parents of this incident, the mother texted Ethan and said, I'm not mad at you. You just got to try not to get caught. You know, you got to be better at not getting caught. So I would not, all I'm going to say is I wouldn't be highly confident that these people are definitely, are just going to turn themselves in. Maybe they will, maybe they won't, but I'm just saying like, I don't know. They don't seem like the most reliable people. Also, this is, these are some heavy charges, four counts, you know, some pretty heavy charges here. So what's the likelihood that they would just run away? I mean, they're not home and it seems like an odd time to not be home. Like I get the, okay, maybe you felt, you know, unsafe. I get that little, you know, part, but how far away did you have to go? Because you're still, they still haven't turned themselves in. And as of right now, local authorities are literally just sitting outside of their home. I have the video right here. So one could only, you know, I guess, wonder what actually may be going on here. Is this a case of, you know, the lawyers telling the truth and they're on their way to turn themselves in? Are they on their way to hightail it as far away as possible? Because considering these charges, like, I think everyone involved, everyone that, you know, got these charges, Ethan and his parents, their lives are basically over. You know, and even if the parents didn't get charged after what their son just did, their life is never going to be the same. I mean, what do they really have to lose by running at this point? I mean, the right thing to do is, of course, turn yourself in. And who knows, maybe somehow they would beat these charges in court. This is the first time in history that parents have been charged as well in a school event like this one. So, I mean, I don't know what the likelihood of them maybe beating the charges would be. I don't know what the sentence would be. I'm just assuming it would be for a while. They would go away for a while if not the rest of their lives, their son's going to be the way away for the rest of his life. He's being charged as an adult and he's already been moved to an adult facility. And I'm really, really happy about that because I was stressing about that to begin with. But as of right now, I guess all we could do is take her word for it. But I don't know y'all. It does, it does seem really fishy to me. But like I said, I got to be responsible here and not jump to any conclusions. And I don't want to judge these people because I don't know these people, but I would just say if I was law enforcement, I would be worried right now. Now, with that being said, I am working as hard as I can to bring you this news on time. I am pumping out the videos. I am on top of it. But YouTube continues to give me pushback. You know, I have videos sitting here waiting to come out, breaking news, and I'm having to wait hours for them to review it. It's getting sickening. So just bear with me. I need to figure out a different way that I could, you know, do breaking news content. 
other than just YouTube because it's just getting so frustrating when I have videos ready to go and then I have to wait for hours on end for YouTube to allow me to release them. And you know, and I know for a fact that other channels are, you know, releasing content about this stuff and they're not having the same problem. So I'm not sure what the deal is here. Literally yesterday I did a test run and I just recorded a video of nothing and I titled it Happy. And YouTube said that it wasn't user friendly and I had to get a human review on it. So there's something going on weird here. I'm trying to figure it out. I've contacted YouTube and Team YouTube multiple times. So who knows what will come of it, but just bear with me. I'm trying to stay on top of this news. Sometimes the news may be a little late, but you're gonna get updates as I can, like as soon as you, I can get them out to you. But with that being said, I appreciate all the support, everyone. I hope everyone has a great weekend. And it looks like I'm gonna be doing a lot more on this story because things are getting really crazy here. So I'm going to stay on top of this. So expect more updates coming today. I'm thinking maybe I'm at the end, by the end of the night, probably gonna have like eight videos out today. So hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, hit that like button, drop a comment. What do you think is going on here? Do you think they're going to turn themselves in? Do you think they're running away? Let me know down in the comments below. While you're down there, go to the description of this video. I will have a link to my cash app. If you would kindly like to support the channel, because YouTube doesn't allow me, YouTube doesn't support me. Also, I have a link to my Twitter and my other YouTube channel. You can go subscribe and follow me over there as well. But as always, find some time out of your day to go watch a movie.